Now the hit US musical show Glee hits our screens tonight for the very first time. It's set around a group of high school mi misfits who are brought together by their shared love of song. And each episode sees them singing their way to a better future against all the odds. With uh, great music and a cast bursting into song at every opportunity, it's set to uh, get the UK singing along too throughout 2010. Yay. Oh, yeah, cynical there, Kate. Cynical. Well, if Glee were real life, ladies, and I know you'd love that, Cole, because <laughs> your life is one big musical, would, would you be able to embrace an impromptu sing song wherever you may be? You see, I'm one of those people, I initiate it. I go, come on, sing! <laughs> and the thing is, I do it all the time. I mean, on New Year's Eve, I never stop singing. And I don't know where everybody went. But anyway, <laughs> you know, like all those songs yeah. that we all know, and I'm going, come on! And the more I drink, I have them. And, come. And, and I love that, but my best friend's wedding, the moment I wake up, before I put on my makeup, so, and everybody joins in, don't they? You see? And I love all that, and I think it's fantastic. Weddings, I'm always the one that is up and going. Do they do that at weddings? Well, I do. <laughs> all creatures, great and small, and up and funerals, I'm always up. I just think it's important we all oh, join in. Well, since she came, do, do you know what? What? They make me cringe so oh, much no. because it brings out the worst in people. It brings out the show-offs come to the piano. They're like moths to a flame. Oh, I love and then, it. then the jazz hands are out. And yeah. then, then suddenly everyone's Ruthie Henshaw is like, oh, get out. Oh, I <laughs> Do all the dancers, all the, all the... No, because they all start singing too... They, they try too hard, don't they? You know, tomorrow, no, no, tomorrow. Yeah. Let them do the faces. <laughs> those, oh, 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 they over-enunciate. You need new friends. I think I've... Do you know what? I think I spent too long doing um, singing shows where people did that constantly. Yeah. I think, but the thing is, yeah. no, I know what I, I've, I've been to the parties you're talking about. <laughs> when I was in the West End, it, ha it does happen a lot, actually. But I've got to say, I don't mind doing it. If I'm at some mate's house, I've been to some wild parties and they've got these uh, big karaoke machines and everybody's off their faces and they're like, give us a song, though. I don't mind doing it because I know a few people. But if I was in an environment... Um, so, like, when I go to a wedding and they go, and now we're going to sing All Things Bright and Beautiful, everybody is expecting you, because you're a singer, to get out there and sing it. And I'm the quietest person. I sort of shrink and go... I can't do it. I feel sort of really inhibited because nobody sings. Nobody sings. No, not in churches. Not in churches, not because we don't want to be louder than the next person. Well, it's I the do. English, <laughs> apart from Sherry. <laughs> well, who everyone apart wishes wouldn't. Sherry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But no, so, no, I, but I don't know. I can see, the thing about it is, it's like with this new TV show, Glee. You know, I used to love fame, I loved yeah, high school yeah, musical. Me too. Because I would love, right? to jump on the roof of a taxi and start singing yeah. and people to come out of shops and not only join in but know the routine <laughs> <laughs> you know I like they do that. on these and i think how do they all know that routine they'll do that fabulous. in america Carl. they wouldn't do it in england they do it in america do they do that in America? What, everyone just knows a routine? No, but people are more expressive with, with music and singing. I mean, we say this, we don't do it no, very I often, love musicals. do musicals. You don't even like musicals, Well, really. no, I do. I went to see one last week, and I cried so much I loved it. So that, it, it told me that I'd, I'd, I'd carried this belief for years that, mm, that, that musicals make me cringe. Yeah, but my, I, I went to see because a friend was in the cast. Mm. She was amazing, and it was brilliant, and I would go again in a heartbeat. Mm. But you had a little impromptu sing song this oh, weekend. Oh, yes, you see, when I went to see old Wishy and Washy in the panto... Wishy and Washy. <laughs> My ex-husband dragged me up on stage at the end. <laughs> Has that man not done enough to you already? Oh, he's dragged me through the gutter. <laughs> um, no, he dragged me up on stage. Now, that was bad enough, but to do YMCA. <laughs> And it gets worse. Because I was late arriving, because we came from Cheshire to High Wycombe and the snow and there was yeah. delays and all that, so we didn't have real time to get ready. So I said to Ray, it was me, Ray and Kira went, and I said, it doesn't matter, it's Pantino, everyone will be there in coats and don't need to get all dolled up. So I had my Ugg boots on, <laughs> my big fat boots, and my big baggy jumper, and up he drags me, and no makeup. Oh, oh, and I could see people in the audience going, that's why he left her. <laughs> Listen, one man's loss is another man's gain. Absolutely.